This is our second video on rounding. In this video, we're going to talk about rounding to the nearest hundred. So we're going to be working with mostly three-digit numbers, but we're also going to take a look at some four-digit numbers. Now, in our first video on rounding to the nearest ten, we learned a poem that helps us round, and it said, find your number, go right next door, four or less, let me rest, five or more, add one more. And we're going to be using that to round to the nearest hundred. Let's take a look at our first example. As we did before, we're going to find our number by counting the places to the number we're rounding to. Since we're rounding to the nearest hundred, I need to find the number in the hundreds place. Ones, tens, hundreds. So in this case, the eight is my number. I need to figure out what to do. So I go right next door, as my poem says, to the two. The two is the next line in the poem because that's a four or less, which says to let me rest. So the eight is not going to change. So the eight stays. Now instead of just one digit as we did with the tens, I have two digits behind my number. And both of those digits are going to become zeros. So the two becomes a zero and the one becomes a zero. So when I round to the nearest hundred, 821 rounds to 800. Notice I'm rounding to a hundred. Hundreds have two zeros at the end. So if my answer is correct, I'm going to have at least two zeros at the end. Sometimes I'll even have three. But most of the time when I round to the nearest hundred, I'm going to have two zeros. Let's try another one. Find my number, count the places, ones, tens, hundreds. To the nearest hundred, I go right next door. The four tells me that I need to rest. The seven stays the same, and all the other digits behind become zeros. So 400, uh, 749 will round to 700. Let's take a look at another example. Find your number, ones, tens, hundreds, go right next door. Now I have a nine. The nine falls in the last line of the poem, and it says five or more, add one more. So I'm going to add one to my number, which I've underlined. One plus that extra one becomes a two. The other two digits turn into zeros. So 195 is going to round to 200. Now we can also do this with four digit numbers, but the process is still the same. I'm still rounding to the nearest hundred. Find my number by counting the places. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Be careful, make sure you go in the right direction. I need to go right next door. Nine is a five or more, so I have to add one more to my number, the seven. The seven becomes an eight. The nine and the three behind my seven become zeros. And I'm just left with the two in the front. I don't need to change it, so I'm just going to drop it down into my number. So 7,000, 2,000, sorry, 793 becomes 2,800 or 2,800. Now, I'm going to give you a couple for you to try. I want you to try 536 rounded to the nearest hundred. So pause our video and then when you think you have your answer, come back and we'll take a look and see if it matches. All right, ready? Think you have your answer? Let's take a look. Ones, tens, hundreds, right next door, 
3 tells me to rest. So 500, 36 is going to round to 500. Here's another one for you to try, except this time it's going to have four digits. To the nearest hundred, round 3,761. Pause the video and then come back and check your answer. Okay, you've got your answer. You ready? Let's see how you did. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. I need the number in the hundreds place because I'm rounding to the nearest hundred. Going right next door to the six. Six tells me I have to add one more to my number. Be careful. Got to add it to my number, the seven. So it becomes an eight. The six and the one behind it becomes zeros and the three in the front drops down. Now, remember just as we did with the tens, sometimes we end up with a number that's going to get double digits when we round it up. So let's take a look at one of those numbers in the hundreds. Let's say we have 994 and we're rounding to the nearest hundred. Ones, tens, hundreds, right next door. Nine tells me to add one more. But I have a nine here and nine plus one is ten. That's a two digit number. So all I have to do in this case is put it down right there. The other two digits in the number become zeros and I end up rounding to 1,000. There are no extra digits in the front to change. But if I have a four digit number, that might not be the case. In this case, round it to the nearest hundred. Ones, tens, hundreds. Go right next door. The seven tells me to add one more. It's the line in our poem that's five or more. But I have a nine here. I can't put a two digit number in that place. So that means that I'm going to have to actually go next door to the next number and move it up two. So the five is going to go to a six and the nine becomes a zero. Notice it's going from 59 up to 60 because it's got to go up one number. The seven and the five at the end also become zeros. So it rounds up to 6,000. This is a case where when rounding to the nearest hundred, we actually end up having three zeros instead of just two. So again, you can go back and watch this video at any time or any of the other videos on rounding if you need some extra help. And I hope you found this video helpful.